Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I'm going to show you 15 basic tricks that you need to know in Excel. We have this sample data sheet of ID, store name, country, region and so on. And on this data set, we are going to perform 15 basic tricks to level up our Excel game. So without wasting time, let's get started. The first trick is you want to get to the bottom of this data but there are thousands of rows so instead of scrolling down you are simply going to press ctrl and down arrow and you are at the end of your data to go back you can simply press ctrl up arrow and you are at the top of your data next i want to edit this cell without using the mouse so i will press f2 and then i can delete the value and enter some other value Let's say I want to select my entire data. I can do that by pressing Ctrl Shift right arrow and then Ctrl Shift down arrow and all of the data is selected. Next, let's say I scroll down and I do not know what this column means or this column means, right? So we want to freeze these top headers so that we can easily navigate through our data. To do this, we simply press Alt W F R. And if we scroll down, as you can see, the top headers are fixed now. Now notice that the row heights and column widths are not properly aligned. To fix this, we simply select our data by pressing Ctrl A and then press Alt H O A to auto fit row height and then Alt H O I to auto fit column width. And we have proper widths and heights. Next, let's say I want to copy this Philippines value over here. Now, instead of copying and pasting, I'll simply press Ctrl R. And as you can see, this copies and pastes the exact value that is on the left side. Now, let's say I want to paste Brazil here instead of Indonesia. Now, one way is to simply Ctrl C copy and then Ctrl V paste it. But instead, we can simply press Ctrl D. And as you can see, this copies and pastes the exact value that is on the top cell. Alright, enough of the copying and pasting things. Now let's say here I want to change this value of France to some other country. Now one way is to remember the name of every country written in this column or simply we can use the shortcut Alt and then Down key and we have all the list of countries present and then we can just select any country. Let's say I will select Belarus and click on it and we have Belarus here. Now let's say I want to select this entire row of Belarus. Now instead of dragging my mouse something like this, I will select any one row and then I will press shift space and the full row is selected. Now similarly, I want to select this entire column of country without using the mouse. So I'll simply press control and then space and the full column is selected. Now next, let's say I want to insert a row about this one. To insert it, I'll just simply select this row and then I'll press Ctrl Shift Plus and we have a new row. Similarly, if I want to insert a column right before this column B, I will simply select this column and then press Ctrl Shift Plus and we have a new column here. Let me undo it for now. Now let's say I want to move this row with the country of Italy to somewhere right before Brazil. To move this entire row, I'm going to select it with the help of shift space. And then I will just hold the shift button. And as you can see here, when I move my cursor, the icon changes. Now I'll just drag it down and let's say I want it above Brazil. I'll drop it and as you can see, we have it above the Brazil row. Next, I want to go to a specific cell. Now to do that, we have a shortcut. I'll press Ctrl G and here, as you can see, we already have this reference. I'm just going to remove it. And here we are going to put the cell number. Let's say I want to go to cell A530. And if I click on OK, it takes me to cell A530. Now we have the last trick. Let's say for uh, this cell, I want to show some specific information. Let's say we will ask to show this is a medicine. To do that, I'm just going to select this cell. Then I'll press Shift F2. 
and here as you can see we have a small comment box here i can say this is a medicine and hit enter and now if i hover over this cell as you can see we have this information that says this is a medicine you can do this for any cell so that will be enough for this video. These were some of the very small but very important Excel tricks to level up your Excel game. Now this file will be available in the description for you to download and practice. Now make sure to like this video, share it with your Excel friends and I will see you in the next one.